Hi, this is Tamara with Finale Inventory. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a batch stock change, which is defined in Finale as changing the quantity on hand by either adding or subtracting stock. Now there are two ways that we can conduct a batch stock change within Finale. You can add a new batch change directly from your user interface, or you can import your batch stock change from a spreadsheet. So we're going to start out with adding a new batch stock change directly from the Finale user interface. Now from the home page, we're going to want to click on stock changes, batch stock changes, and add new batch stock change. So you'll need to enter the sublocation that you're changing your stock for, and your quantity changes will be made in this column. Now, whenever you enter a quantity in a stock change field here, the new quantity will automatically be populated in the new quantity column here. So let's say for instance, your red pot holders, uh, you found an additional five of them. Once we enter five in the quantity change field or column, the new quantity will be 22. Likewise, if we notice that we have some broken stainless steel skillets, let's say that the, the handle on them are broken on about two of them. If we put a negative two here, it's going to result in a new quantity of 15. So again, remember, uh, with our batch stock change, we're going to either add or we're going to subtract. So we're going to add some additional notepads. We're going to add some additional staplers. We're going to subtract um, some of the pens and pencils. We're going to add here and let's see we're going to add here. Subtract some here. So remember with a batch stock change we're either going to add additional stock or subtract additional stock, which will result in a delta or change of either adding or subtracting stock from what we currently have on hand. So once you're done, we want to click on Save Now in the upper right hand corner and we want to commit the batch stock change. So once you've committed that batch stock change, you're all done and we can see the adjustments that we've made either by adding or subtracting stock to these particular product IDs over here on the left. So now let's look at conducting a batch stock change by importing that data from a spreadsheet into Finale. If you have your product quantity details in a spreadsheet, then it may be more efficient to import that data all at one time. So let's go over to our spreadsheet. At a minimum, we're going to need your product ID and quantity. Now remember, the quantity here is not your total quantity on hand. It's the change or adjustment that we're adding or subtracting from your current quantity on hand. So in this example, we're going to subtract 7, add 5, add 10, add 4, and subtract 3 respectively to these corresponding product IDs. If you're making changes to multiple sublocations, you'll need to add that column as well. But in this demonstration, we're only going to import adjustments into one sublocation. So let's copy this data. Go over to Finale. And from our home page, let's go to Stock Changes, Batch Stock Changes. And this time we're going to go to Import New Batch Stock Change. Select the sublocation that we're making our changes to. Make any necessary note. Click on Next. Right click and paste. Here we just want to ensure that none of our column assignments are missing and we have all of the data that we're wanting to uh, pull into Finale. And we're going to click on Next. And we want to commit that batch stock change. And click on Next. And that's it. And that's how you conduct a batch stock change in Finale.